हेलो अनीश कुमार दिस साइड द टॉपिक दैट आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इज नंबर्स दिस इज लेसन वन इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ नंबर्स नो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट आर द नेचुरल नंबर्स व्हाट आर नेचुरल नंबर्स नेचुरल नंबर्स आर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव अप टू इनफिनिटी दे आर नेचुरल नंबर्स दे सिंबल इज कैपिटल एन वेन एवर यू सी कैपिटल एन इट मीन्स दैट दिस सिंबल रिप्रेजेंट द नेचुरल नंबर्स Whole numbers zero will be added zero one two three four five up to infinity. They are called as whole number and symbol is W. Next are integers. Now integers, positive as well as negative number including zero. So minus three will be there, minus two will be there, minus one will be there. Zero one two three up to infinity. and their symbol is z so positive numbers negative numbers including zero is an in, are integers very important zero is an integer next are rational numbers what are rational numbers any number that you can write in the form of p by q any number that you can write in the form of p by q where p and q are integers p and q are integers but condition is that q should not be equals to 0 q should not be equals to 0 for example if i say is 5 a rational number 5 pause the video think about for 1 minute and then listen what i say is 5 a rational number this is a question i am asking you on the base of definition that i gave you rational numbers pause the video and try to think is 5 a rational number or not yes 5 is a rational number because 5 can be written as 5 by 1 minus 8 is a rational number yes minus 8 is also a rational number because minus 8 can be written as minus 8 by 1 what about 0 is 0 a rational number 0 is also a rational number because 0 can be written as 0 by 1 0 by 1 is 0 0 by minus 2 0 can be written as 0 by minus 2 again you can see that by definition it's a rational number because see p by q zero can be written in the form of p by q but q is not equal to zero you see that in this case q is 1 in this case q is minus 2 q is not zero that is our condition p and q must be integers and q should not be equals to zero so very important zero is also a rational number so can i say 5 is also a rational number minus 8 zero all are rational in general i can say that all integers All integers are rational number. This statement is true. All integers are rational number because five is an integer, minus eight is also an integer, zero is also an integer. So all integers are rational numbers. Is the vice versa statement also true? If I say all rational numbers are integers, all rational numbers are all integers. is this statement true think about a second by pausing the video and then listen my answer my question is all rational numbers are integers is this statement true this statement is not true because 7 by 8 is also a rational number as per definition rational number is a number which can be written in the form of p by q where p and q are integers so 7 by 8 is a rational number but this is not a this is not this is not an integer this is not an integer so this all rational numbers are integer this statement is not true next is rational number in fraction form rational number that are in fraction form rational number that are in fraction form again there are two types of rational number which are in fraction form one is first type is terminating decimal terminating decimals what are they for example 1 by 4 this is rational number 1 by 4 by definition p by q p and q both are integers this is 0.25 
it means that this number is completely divisible and the decimal will end terminating means that decimal will end somewhere 1 by 8 this is 0.125 this is also a terminating decimals so rational numbers in fraction form are first type is terminating decimal second type rational number fraction form rational number fraction form second part second type of numbers are very important non terminating but repeating decimals non terminating but repeating decimals what are they for example 10 by 3 now 10 is never divisible by 3 completely you will get 3.3333 till infinity you got starting divide, dividing division will never be complete so this can be written as 3.3 bar as you can see that why I have written bar bar stand for the number which is getting the or digit which is getting repeated so 3 is getting repeated so this will become 3.3 bar same way 1 by 6 1 by 6 is point one six 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 up to infinity this 6 will, will come infinite time this is point 0.1 the bar will only be on the 6 because the number 6 is getting repeated so this non terminating but repeating decimals are also called as recurring decimal recurring, recurring decimals another name of there is recurring decimal so whenever you find a number of in which the bar is there it means that that number is a rational number for example if i say 0.528 bar but it means that this is number of the form 0.5282828 this is also a rational number because any number of the form in which bar is there on some digits it is a recurring decimal and as per our definition recurring decimals are also rational numbers of the form known terminating but repeating decimals next is irrational numbers what are irrational numbers irrational numbers are again you can define in two ways one of the ways is that you can't write them in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 you can't write them in the form of p by q second is in the words form non terminating non terminating and non repeating decimals non terminating and non repeating decimals are called as irrational number for example if i say root 2 this will become 1.414 something would be this form i have written by my choice is not exactly the the decimal will come like this way but i my objective is to explain you you can see that it's a non terminating non repeating decimals they are called as irrational numbers again root 5 it is also irrational number root 7 it is also a irrational number also pi very important pi is not equals to 22 by 7 pi is approximately equals to 22 by 7 and pi value is also equals to 3.1416 let's say 7 8 2 3 and so on it will never end and it will never repeat very important it will never end and it will never repeat so non terminating and non repeating decimals are called as a irrational numbers so summarizing all this rational irrational number is called as real number real number real number includes every all kind of numbers that is integers rationals irrationals so real number is any number that you can think of any number that one can think of 
any number they can you can think of is a real number except complex number except complex number any number that you can think of is a real number other definition is that any point on number line any point on number line is also a real number so number line stands for we used to make the graph in the school days is 0 1 2 3 4 up to infinity this is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 up to minus infinity so any point on this number line this is point a this is point b this is point c this is point d all the points represent a real number so it's how we can summarize all kind of numbers let's see first all is comes the real numbers they are represented r real number can be divided into two parts one is rational others are irrational rational and irrational rational can be further divided fraction and integers Rational numbers are fractions as well as integers. Irrational numbers are root 2, root 3, pi types. Fractions again, rational numbers can be divided into two parts. One is RD. RD stands for recurring decimals. Other are TD. TD stands for terminating decimals. Integers can be further classified as positive integers, negative integers and zero will be separate. So zero is an integer. Integers can be positive integers as well as negative integers. Positive integers you can also can say that they are natural numbers and stand for natural numbers. So positive integers are natural numbers. So this is a complete diagram of all the types of number. In next class I will continue with continue with more classes on numbers. Thank you.